my friends to the Coliseum. Grizzly Mantis here, and we're actually going to delve into his Explorer today. I almost said Historic. I'm a huge fan. Well, I should say I was a huge fan of Historic back before the introduction of Alchemy. I loved uh, the Eternal formats, and I was actually okay with the Anthologies cards that they had mixed in, which kind of upped the power level. You know, things had to get banned, things had to get removed, Memory Lapse, Brainstorm, Time Warp. They were a bit too much for the format, but overall, I did love it. I used to play Historic more than any other format, but once Alchemy started to kind of nerf and the whole, we're going to change cards and not reimburse you, I said, you know what, I'm boycotting that one. However, I think they got the message because they brought us a format called Historic, which is essentially a step towards Pioneer. It's missing some cards, but it's a true-to-tabletop format. And as such, I was incredibly intrigued, and it definitely gave me an opportunity to play one of my favorite decks from Historic, one of the ones that I played a while back. And kind of put on the base uh, the, the sideline for a little bit but man it was a blast feather if you're not aware boros feather oh lordy so feather the redeemed you get a three four for three with flying whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets a creature you control exile it instead of putting it in your graveyard as it resolves then at the beginning of the next end step boop bounces back to your hand fabulous card but really this is just like boros magecraft it's probably a good way to put it because i mean you got clever lumomancer um, we'll go Soul Scarred Mage and then Illuminate a Virtuoso. Fabulous, fabulous cards. And then pretty much all we're trying to do is ride these threats basically to the finish line. If you can get a threat to resolve, and there's many ways to protect it, which we'll go over then, at that point, it's just push it forward, push it forward. Um, so let's take a moment to look at these threats now that we've established it. Clever Lumomancer, you remember him. Uh, plus two, plus two for each instant or sorcery uh, spell you cast or copy. Soul Scarred Mage. Definitely a newer one if you're only into standard. A 1 2 for 1 with prowess, which of course, cast a non creature spell, gets plus 1 plus 1 to another turn. If a source you control would deal non combat damage to a creature and opponent controls, put that money minus 1 minus 1 counters instead. Turns our removal spells into much more potent things. Now, this one definitely is one that you could cut if you are like, if you're going for more of a uh, budget uh, version. You could. However, don't underestimate Soul Scar Mage. It's a very, very powerful card. Uh, Virtuoso, we've played a bit in Standard. Uh, it's fantastic. It is. And when this is one of those cards that as soon as I saw it in the spoiler, I thought, man, I hope... If I remember, I'm going to play that in Feather, and here we are. I mean, not, it's a 1-1 one, one double strike for 2, but whenever it becomes the target of a spell or you control, it connives, which means it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I love it. Dreadhorde Arcanist. 1-3 for 2, Zombie Wizard with Trample. Whenever he attacks, you may cast target an instant or sorcery card with mana value less than or equal to his power from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. For more free spells, basically we're just trying to get as many free sp many spells going in a turn to just kill our opponent ASAP. We've had some blazing fast kills with this deck in the past, although Explorer is a whole new beast, so we'll have to see how it goes off there. Then the Affirmation Feather. That's it for our creature base. We do have a couple man lands uh, in the form of Den of the Bugbear just because of how powerful Den is, but that's it there. Now, I've divided the spells into a couple different categories here, and I'll shut that door before the game start with the bird. Uh, first off, our straight-up removal, Reckless Rage. Four damage to a creature you don't control, two damage to a creature you control. With the exception of Illuminator Virtuoso, it shouldn't kill anything of ours upon resolution. Uh, the level Lumomancer will be a 2-3, Soul Scar Mage will be a 2-3, Dread Horror Cancer is a 1-3, and Feather is a 3-4. So this will always kill, at least, it will always deal four damage to a creature an opponent controls while keeping our creatures so basically one red four damage we'll need that for um i hear grease fangs big so we'll need removal for grease fang now the virtuoso does not have that synergy with reckless rage but that's a small price to pay and even then if the virtuoso is a 2-2 and you target it with the reckless rage you get the connive trigger so as long as you hit the connive trigger it'll survive hey it's win win all around that's it for our removal though hopefully it is enough and with the amount of filtering and draw we do it should be speaking of which Defiant Strike is our staple. One white, plus one, plus zero, and cantrips. Fabulous, especially once you get going with Feather. Homestead Courage is a newer one. It's only a two of right now because it's very powerful, but it's a little limited. Vigilance is good. Flashback is good. We may increase this, but really the biggest addition here is Ancestral Anger. <laughs> I will shut that door. Target creature gets Trample and plus X plus zero to end a turn where X is one plus the number of cards named Ancestral Anger in your graveyard. So previously we didn't have trample we had to rely on protection for a lot of our things here this has been a huge addition huge addition i definitely love that it cantrips too it's very reminiscent of um oh crash through that kind of stuff which i love 
Uh, maximum velocity, I actually snuck this in. I love it as a one of, being able to get plus one, plus one, and haste. And jumpstart means you can discard a card from your hand to cast this again from your graveyard. So it's like flashback, except you have to discard a land when you do it. And then invigorated rampage. This is a staple across feather boards. Uh, being able to either target one creature, give it trample and boost it, or two target creatures, disperse it up depending on what your situation looks like. Fabulous. And then this category over here is our protection. We got two fight as one. We got a lot, good balance of humans and non-humans, and the Arcanist and the Feather are non-humans, and then, of course, all these bad boys are humans. But being able to not only target them, uh, beef them, and give them indestructible is pretty solid. And then, of course, God's Willing, target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until in a turn you get to scry one that is essentially the list now there are some things missing um i had to cut 10th district legionnaire for illuminator virtuoso because that's the, the two drop slot i wanted to try him in however if we turn out not liking so many lumancers soul scar mage or even dread Horde arcanist we can sneak 10th district legionnaire back in there because it is that good but this is the list for now i'm going to take a quick moment here Feel free, if you like what I do, to like, subscribe. I always want you coming back for more. Always feel free to comment and all that good jazz. And also, I will be going over untapped.gg stats for the deck at the end. So if that is your jam, I will see you then. But as for me, I say we get to the games. Oh, it'll be so interesting to see what is different between this and other and historic. It's like, Thoughtseize is still there. A lot of the cards are still there. This, unfortunately, is a mulligan. We need threats. This will keep, put a Reckless Rage to the bottom, and we'll go from there. Stinks that we all, all we have is an Arcanist, but I hope I take it back. Soul Skirmage, baby. It's entirely possible I should have kept the other Reckless Rage. Looks like we might be dealing with a mirror, although a Snarl's interesting. Ooh, might be a mirror. Interesting. Do we want to commit another threat, or do we want to protect ours? Let's see what he does. He must have kept a threatless hand here, eh? Or he's planning on playing the threat. All right, let's play the Dreadhorde Arcanist. He's probably planning to play the threat and then Reckless Rage against uh, uh, away one of mine, which is looks to be the exact plan. Wait, that won't work with Illuminator Virtuoso. Huh. Ah, sure. Just going to straight up connive. I like it. It's not going to survive Reckless Rage, but I like it. Mirror match first game. That's weird. Who would have thought that one? Who would have saw that one coming, right? All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to say... We're going we're gonna to take this bad boy down, but let's start here. these out i'd like to i think i'm gonna hold up the god willing yeah let's do it nice done 12 we're in good shape we got a reckless rage at the ready all depends on what opponents got <laughs> mirror match how do we get a mirror match game one is a mirror match i hope explorer is more diverse or perhaps the algorithm is working against us. I don't know. Make sure you are staying hydrated through these tense and drying times. Although it is a little chilly today. Oh, uh, sure. Stuff to do. Time to do it. It'd be nice to have a second threat. But at the same time, whatever. We got more white than red at the moment. So, ooh, life gain. No, I'm not going to divine strike my opponent's creature. Ooh, that's interesting. However... And we'll still go Dread Horde Arcanist here. <clears throat> See what opponents got. Nope, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, that stinks. Do I want to kill the Speaker of the Heavens or do I want to wait? We'll just wait. I'm just going to go with the Illuminator Virtuoso here. It's entirely possible I could have led with the other one, but I was anticipating like a voice of all or something like that. And in that case, I would rather have the potential for immediate removal, whereas with the Illuminator Virtuoso, ooh, do a gain life. X plus one instead. All right. So what do we got to do here? 
We start with the Homestead Courage on the Virtuoso. Let's see what we draw. Don't need another Arcanist just yet. However, now this gives us the ability to pretty much light this up. Let's get rid of that. Same thing. Shouldn't have a problem conniving here. Let's get rid of a Defiant Strike. And there's an easy, uh, yeah. Just an easy 11 damage, nothing big. I was kind of hoping to hit a third land there to hold up God's Willing, but I'm not too worried right now. The scariest thing I gotta worry about is Collected Company, and that ain't it. Hope you got something else, my man. You do not, that's unfortunate. Well then, I guess we'll just keep on keeping on. Hmm, I already played a land. Eh. Good game, my man. Good game. Okay, then. <laughs> you see how Reckless Rage is ridiculous cards. One mana, four damage. That's it. That's all we got. So we had some life gain. We had some... Oh, here we go. Sure. Hey, we got Feather. I love it. Start an Inspiring Vantage or Den of the Bugbear. Doesn't matter which. Keeping seven. Ooh, yo, Ryan. Our first challenge. Gonna have to fight through a lot of removal. A lot of removal, especially if it's Jess guy. The good news is we... Ugh. Ooh, not feeling good about that. Stick. Jawari Disruption. Oh, wait. Oh, it was Jawari Disruption! You fiend! Play versus draw, am I right? Let's hope we don't get, uh... Jawari Disrupted. Let's make him have it. Another Jawari Disruption. No, this is Patrick. It's entirely possible I should have waited a turn and held up the gods willing. It might not have been the worst plan on the planet. That's what I was thinking about, but... I mean, we gotta get stuff out of his hand. And he's almost out. And then we can just hope that Den of the Bugbear can finish the job. I didn't draw a land, but we didn't either. Or excuse me, we didn't draw a thread, so it doesn't really matter. Yep. Nope. I'm gonna wait a turn. God's willing. We can get there. You. Yep. Just making sure that, uh... Wait, what? I was like, something's holding priority. If he just goes with... Well, we'll see what he's got. If he's got another thing, he's got another thing. <laughs> this is fun, isn't it? But hey, got a 1-1 out of the deal. That's all we need, baby. Just get in with my goblin and play the soul skirmish second main. I'm not gonna commit anything to it just yet. We're gonna wait and see what he's got going on. He's got three cards in his hand. Yes, thank you. Yes, that's it. Just keep on keeping on. Let's get rid of here. Let's go soul skirmish. It may just get countered, but that's one less card in his hand I gotta care about. The Wandering Emperor. Sure. Uh-oh. Sure. Make them all, baby. Nah, I'm good. He's got two cards left. Seat of the Empire, eh?
I'm not ready to go all in just yet. So what I'm thinking here is let's just invigorate a rampage. If he double blocks the goblin, we'll invigorate a rampage on the soul scare mage. If he double blocks, okay. Let's go done, and I will attempt, mind you, attempt. Hmm. Okie dokie, artichokey. Um. Nah, we're good. Just gotta keep wearing down those defenses, you know? Yep. No. Don't care. Aww. One, two, three, four. He gets a march. Okay. Hmm. Eat it. Just eat it. Yep. That's all for me. Almost there, people. Almost somewhere, people. Yep. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, Lord. Uh, yep. Hmm. It's not going to cantrip, but it's still worth the trigger. I was going to say he might be baited. Nope, he's not. Yep. All right, now we got fight as one and den of the bugbear. This is where we're at. Sure. Remember your Let me just get an auto block here. Or <laughs> auto pass, I should say. Feather the redeemed. Don't have protections from counter spells at this point, so. Not feeling too optimistic about this matchup, not gonna lie. Not well, not the matchup. The matchup's probably okay. Memory deluge, sure. Yep. Oh boy. It's like blue white, but bigger and much, much more annoying. To play, do the talking. My prowess is unmatched. Hone your prowess. <laughs> oh, this is getting stupid. It's all for us. If he's got a. Well, let's see, Day of Judgment is in this format. Alright, yeah, I think we've all had enough here. <laughs> Sand. Ugh, I hate sand. Oh, come on! It's cool. It's irritating and rough and gets everywhere. I hate sand. Nope. Gamma looking a hand with no threats. That we can keep. Oh, let's see here. I think I did a rampage. going to have to go for now. We'll find it again later. It'd be nice to find any of those removal spells we just saw. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Doop. Basic Island. Cool picture. Oh, is it spirits? It must be. In case we really need our targeted removal. He's thinking. Hmm. So say there's nothing holding priority, so he probably is just sitting on a counter spell, but oh, excuse me. It could also be um well we'll see. Sure. Four spikes for days. 
Yep. That's a pretty good one. Start here. Miscast. You got it? How about this one? Can I draw my card, please? That'd be great. Beautiful. Huh. Must just be counter your stuff and hope you have nothing else to do because what is my opponent up to? I say that and he's probably just going to clock me here in a second. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was going to Defiant Strike there, but we're just going to hold off. We'll wait and see what opponent's up to. I just feel like something huge is coming, you know? Okay, well. Start here. See how he feels about this one. Okay. Hmm. At this point, I might just... Three, four, five... No, nothing to do yet. Just knock him to six and pass. Sure. I don't think I'm gonna do anything about that. Wonder if he found his threats. Wonder if he found his uh, curious obsession or whatever it may be. Is curiosity in this format? I'll have to check. Sh I was say sure. Okay. Um, maybe play a spell during opponent's turn, eh? So he wants to fight me over this. Anything else? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just try the Dreadheart Arcanist here. If that was his plan. He should have probably held priority and thrown multiple counter spells. Otherwise, it's like, eh, okay. Got him. We are also kind of out of stuff to do, but we'll see. He's got something holding priority. C dash or octopus. Nice. Sure. You gonna block? He's not. Homeboy's got plays. Feather. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yep, just he drew the wrong part of his deck at the wrong moment, but that's the way it goes. A few times a bit longer than I thought it'd be. Ooh, ooh, no. That's better. Hopefully. We're going to keep the double arc. Let's say I'm going to put the needle perch pathway at the bottom, and we'll go from there. Kind of stinks. The other hand would have been fabulous. Just one more widow wand, just a one, I'd have been happy. Ugh. Why do they keep giving me the stupid sand level? Of course it's rough, it's irritating, it gets everywhere, man! Whoa! 
of sounds like that thing. If you ever watched the Snyder Cut of Justice League, whenever Wonder Woman would do anything, it would always go... Ah. It kind of sounds like that here. Let's hope he doesn't do something that stops Virtuoso. Or else we'd be in trouble. At least until we find another threat. Another noun feather threat. Come on, opponent. I know you're there. You just kept your hand. Ahmed Cat. There you are. All right. Well, if he's got something, it'll be fine. Otherwise, we can Ancestral Anger and then Reckless Rage away, whatever else he may not have. What is He has something holding priority. It's not Defiant Strike, is it? Ooh, is this another mirror match? Why are we facing all these mirror matches? Oh, it's not. What did he have, though? Hmm. Interesting. I don't want that Gita to survive, so I think, unfortunately, we gotta we gotta burn some stuff here. Let's connive and see if we can find something else. Yep. Okay. Got to make sure we discard. And a pow. Soul Scar Mage, pass to you. Could be in some pretty good shape here. It's a good start. I'm trying to figure out what he had that cost one mana. I was holding priority. Well, I guess we're just... Uh, yeah, I guess we're just doing nothing here. It stinks. Fateful absence. Oh, it's a march. Of course it is. March of otherworldly light. Yeah, nothing here. What do you get rid of? Elspeth. Yep. That stinks. Yep, we expected to cantrip into some other things, and we did not. So we could be in trouble, in all fairness. We've got the Reckless Rage, so we're not out of it, but... Opponents clearly... Opponents clearly got stuff to do. Let's play the other Soul Scar Mage and let's pass the turn. <sighs> that was bad. Sure, no response here, sir. Yep. See what he finds. What does a shield counter read again? Don't just remove a shield counter instead. Got it. Alright, so let's see if this works like I think it does. So this should remove the shield counter. Okay. And this should end the creature. Okay. Well, there we have it. What else does he have in his hand? He's going to be like, Wrath of God. Youthful Valkyrie, sure. Does he have a second threat? So now it has first strike, sure. Let's start here. He's got something. That is fine. So anyways, yeah. Alright, that's where we are. Just hoping for... Oh, found the Coco. Ooh, this could be bad. Yep, I define that as bad. Back up to five. Let's see what he hits here with the other Elspeth. I've made plenty of connections. 
Oof. Up to seven. And here we are just hanging out. Oh, crap. We're dead. Uh, 14. Okay. This is where we're at. Two. So 10, 14. He's not there yet, so that's fine. Can't use that to activate. Yep, yep. Do it. Ow, ow. No one has lifelink, right? That's good. Oh, boy. So what do we got? We got Reckless Rage, and we were hoping to draw something else. We can Reckless Rage away the Valkyrie, but then we all just die. All right. Unfortunate. Couldn't cross that finish line, baby. Ugh. Unfortunate. Hmm, sure. On the draw, not the best spot to be in. Oh, no. Is this a mirror match? Might be. That's the case, this Arcanist ain't doing much. Got me. We can take one more. As long as it means we'll be all right there. Robber of the Rich. Oosh. Ancestral Anger. Yep. Okay, let's go. Dread Horde Arcanus. Now let's pass. Oh, it tapped my... Of course it did. Tapped my white. Need a threat. That's not a threat. Yep. Need to draw a card here. That's all I got. Hmm. Oh boy. Well, we got Den of the Bugbear. Other than that, we got nothing going on. Opponent seems to be sitting on a bunch of removal. Not a big deal. As long as we find something to do. Like a creature. Okay, that is not it. Yep. Dang it! Dag nabbit! I got nothing, so if my opponents just got us dead, then we be dead. Rampaging Ferocidon. Sure. Ugh. Oh, well, that was brutal. Brutal. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can end with a positive record. We are currently 3-3. Three and three. Yeah, this is good, although, God, I wish I was on the play. Line of War Elves, eh? Line of War Elves, eh? Go big, baby. Probably, yeah, looking at Gruel. Gruel aggro. Gonna need to find some removal spells here. Lickety split. I mean, Crop Crasher. Uh, yeah, no blocks here, sir. It's going to start to hurt. So what are we going to do here? Soul Scar Mage into... Yeah. Yeah. Let's try to cross that finish line before they do, baby. That's all we got. How well we do in this game is pretty much directly proportionate to how many stomps they find. And it looks like they just found one. Oh. So now what do we got? We got nothing. That's what we got. No blocks here, sir. Another Luma Man, sir. get in see how he feels about it he don't care play dread hard arcanist and pass the turn we really needed to hit a land drop there but at the same time we'll see how it goes yeah really need to hit some land drops here or else we're gonna be in trouble especially if he whips out something like an ember cleave or a questing beast would be obnoxious as well Beautiful. No blocks here. Okay, then. 
Well, there's the land. Better late than never, eh? All right, well, somebody's going to die, so who's it going to be? Let's draw some cards. So he's going to have to stay back, but we can always do something there. Start here. Probably just dead in all honesty, but uh, we'll see. Let's see what he wants to do here. Well, yeah, that's something, I guess. It's down to nine. This next turn is pretty, pretty crazy, and I don't think it can be. Let's see, three, three, or three, four. Well, we'll see. Oh, that's exactly beautiful. Oh, beautifully done. Oh, sad. Needed those reckless rages, that's for sure. Oh, it's a treadmill day, baby. All right, we are back for the untapped GG final bits here and yeah okay so oof three and four not the best that's for sure yeah man seemed like when the deck worked it worked when it didn't it did not you know what i think well we'll get to the change in a second we definitely had some issues targeted removal is tough when we don't draw our the i mean the little you know the perfect little curve of spells to get into but i mean we know we saw the power of the deck which is great so man we'll just have to see what happens there let's hop back over to Oh, where are we at? Uh, oops. Let's hop back over to the deck here. Da, 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 da. And let's see. So if I were making changes today, all right, what did I like? I did not really care too much. I still am not a fan of Lumomancer in this list. I still like Maximize Velocity. I feel like two was the right number for Feather. It almost feels like it's Feather going to be outclassed in his own deck. Maybe he should be a one of. Maybe just like a late in the game type spell. And this guy, we got this guy. We're just going to go ahead and do some tweaks here because one thing, I loved the Virtuoso. And we got 19 lands. Let's see, good, good, good. We could probably drop down here. No, these are pretty much our only slots. So honestly, should Legionnaire just come back and just play a bunch of... I love that it has haste. That mode of one of some games here. I think I like it more than Lumomancer. So what we could do is pull back in four of those, ditch those... And then we've got one slot left because we cut a feather. However, I don't think it should be for any other threats. I think it should be a spell of some kind. We already have four gods willing. Could be another homestead courage. It's not the worst idea in the world. It'd be nice to get something else that can trips. Hmm, I guess for the moment we could just say two feathers maximize velocity and just straight up go this route so we've got the soul scar mages our one drop we could actually what we could do is we could put in two yeah we could well we'd have to cut something else wouldn't we like i say we could put in two of the clever lumomancers just so we have the maximum chance of having a one drop maximizing that chance to get that one drop that's eh, not the worst idea in the world hmm I feel like we need more cantrips, but what other cantrips we have? That's what I liked about 10th District Legionnaire. Not only does it get bigger from the spells you're casting, but it also allows you to scry from his own ability. So this will be something to uh, revisit another time. That, actually, that might just be good enough. The Lumomancer is good. It is powerful. But I feel like the Le Legionnaire is just going to overall be better. It's less fragile. It's less glass cannony. So... Well, that was fun. Obviously, not it didn't go as well as we thought it would, but we did get to see the deck in action. We got to see it doing its thing, and we got to see it get around a lot of obstacles. But as before, which was the issue with Feather in Historic, sometimes you just go nuts, and sometimes you just, oh, you run out of steam right when your opponent's at, like, slow single digits, and then, boom, they're back into it. So... As always, if you like what I do, feel free to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Comment, all that good stuff. Is, is it Explorer something that you want to see, or should we continue into uh, Historic? I figured Explorer, but Historic could be good, too. I guess I don't mind it. We'll just have to deal with the alchemy garbage, but eh, it doesn't matter. That's all for me. I'll see everybody later.